Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is, the real one. Always 100. Always controversial. Gabriel Skywalker from Skywalker DFS, a.k.a. the DFS Club. Coming to y'all with a main slate NBA video for Saturday. Um, cast and double ups, as you can see right there. Um, cast and a turbo rather nicely. I just wish I would have bet more. I don't know why the hell I only bet a dollar. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But uh, my members uh, bet more than I did, and they, they won pretty big. So I'm happy for them. That's all that matters. Uh, GPPs I missed, man, by point three points. But it doesn't matter if you lose by an inch or a mile. You lose. So that's why I go light on GPP. So overall, a winning day. But at the DFS Club, we don't just play one sport. We played European basketball, guys, like I was talking about on last night's video, and we cashed. So it was it was just all day. It's all day DFS, the DFS. When you're playing every sport, it's just all day, all day. Look at this. We cashed in soccer, came in third, almost a takedown. Shout out to Showtime. Um, Showtime is one of my soccer experts in the chat. So, um. Yeah, he hooked it up the lineup for the family and uh, came in third. So thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is where it's at, guys. www.dfsclub.com, the daily fantasy sports powerhouse. We are three providers in one. We include DFS Space. Shout out to Space. He had a good day today. Shout out to the DFS Whispers. You got myself. We got 380, we're about at 392 last time I checked. 392 members, guys. We cover every single sport imaginable, possible. We're the only ones in the industry that do this, all right? And we do it for one price for every single sport. That includes NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports. MMA is coming up in about two and a half hours, so... We're gearing up for that. I dropped my lineups already. It's going to be a tough card, but uh, I know we can do it, guys. We're on a we're on a five five week winning streak with MMA. WNBA is over, but when it's around, we cover it, and then we cover college sports, guys. We got college football tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we are www.dfsclub.com. Just click the join now button. Click on this beautiful Skywalker DFS logo, and here are your plans, guys. Um, and this isn't, this isn't a, uh, error. These are the prices for every single sport. You get access, all access for every single package you see here. You get the members only Slack chat where we drop all the lineups. It's where all the families in there. Um, 24 seven tips and advice by the DFS club. We got pre-lock insight. I ran a quick, uh, very quick, um, members only podcast NBA with, uh, easy from the DFS whispers today. But still, we got something out of it. Um, we cover DraftKings, FanDuel, Price Picks, Yahoo, Monkey Knife Fight, you name it. We cover it. Join the family, guys. $25 a month. You can save some money. Go for six months. You can save a hell of a lot of money. Go for a year. Or you can check us out with a three-day pass for $7.99, guys. Good luck finding anybody else that comes close to this. Comes close to these prices. Comes close to this content. Comes close to our winning percentage can't beat it guys so let's get into the slate all right guys so let's get into it so first let's start off by looking at is there any injury news because i know joel Embiid is questionable man when is he not questionable <laughs> that guy is always hurt man bogdanovich is banged up o'neill this is all four hours ago fox is questionable but he healed there goes sacramento um Jeremy, okay, so this is all old stuff. So Embiid's still questionable. So we'll have to see tomorrow as far as, like, who's playing. Because that's a big one because Embiid's going up against Drummond. So that either makes – that either – let's go right here then. So let's get in the player pool. Let's go right to, to Drummond, like I was saying. Andre Drummond right here at 9-5. Going up against – if Embiid is in play, I might fade Drummond because that's a very tough matchup. Now, if Embiid is out, I'm going all in on Drummond. So it's that simple. Drummond is 9-5 on DK. And on FanDuel, he's 13,000. Jesus Christ, man. I don't know how y'all play FanDuel. I don't. 
<laughs> I don't get it, man. There, what's the upside with Vandal? Leave in the comments below what's the upside. You have no late swap. These players' prices are ridiculous. And what's the upside? I don't know, guys. I don't see it. All right, so we'll start from the bottom again. We'll go John Collins right here. Atlanta versus Orlando, 7-4 on DK. FanDuel, 9K, right? Yeah, 9K. Um, going up against Orlando, let's see his history. 29, 22, 25, 32, 31 in his last five against Orlando. Um, he got a 40 in his last game, so I do like that with 30 minutes. You know John Collins is going to get the start, so he's worth a look at 7-4. He might go overlooked. So, look out for that. Next up, coming off a back-to-back -back game, Donovan Mitchell. This should be a uh, – Utah plays really slow, but Sacramento plays completely opposite. And Sacramento is really banged up, as you just saw. So, they could have three starters out. So, Donovan Mitchell out there against that depleted Sacramento team, the only thing you got to worry about is a blowout. So, if it's a blowout, Donovan Mitchell may only play three quarters. But – he can do some damage in three quarters. At 7-9, he's definitely worth a look. Next up, Kyle Lowry. Now, he started really slow today. I didn't play him personally, but, you know, I always check to see what everybody does. And I was looking earlier in the, you know, in the game, and he just wasn't scoring. And then by the end of the game, all of a sudden, he was just damn near near the top. So, Kyle Lowry, 7-3, man. He keeps proving me wrong. 41 last game, 58 before that. Toronto's just... Man, they're just a bunch of scorers on that team, let me tell you. So, 7-3, get them in there. Looks like on, uh, you got a FanDuel price here? What does that say? Uh, that can't be right. It says 3,000. I'm sure he's more than that on FanDuel, but I'm sure that'll update. So, we already talked about Drummond. So, next up, we got some bonus tomorrow, guys. 7-5, 47 fantasy points in his last game, 35 minutes. Going up against Cleveland. Look what he does against Cleveland. 32, 38, 35, 22, and 16. Love that. Um, 7 5 player. A lot of these 7 5 players, these 6 2 players go overlooked. So take a look. Get him in there. All right. Next up, Sweet Lou coming off a weird ass game against the Golden State Warriors. That was just a weird rotation, weird minutes going around. Um, yeah, just overall weird. It just seemed very weird to me. Sweet Lou is 6'8". That's cheap for him, I believe. Um, he's projected to get 30 fantasy points tomorrow. Last game, he got 40. Comes off the bench, but that don't matter. He uh, He's always come off the bench. And going up against Phoenix, 48, 33, 16, 33, and 18. So look out for them quick clippers and look out for Sweet Lou. Next up, we got Fred Van Vliet, Fat Fred Van Vliet. And he went out there today. He fucked the dog. He didn't do shit. But he's got a good matchup against um, Chicago. Man, Zach Levine went off today, man. I wish I had more of him. Uh, but we'll get we'll get there. Uh, Van Vliet, before that, he got like a 20, I think it was like 28 fantasy points today. Before that, he got a 56. So at 6-2 against Chicago, it should, should be a high-paced matchup. Um, he, let's see here. He's projected at 31.3 tomorrow. So we'll see. Van Vliet is on my radar. Next up, worth a look is Zubots. Now, he had a great game against the Warriors, 35 fantasy points, and he is dirt cheap at 4-2. So if he gets a start, I would roll him out in a GPP, but be very cautious because before that, he had a 9 and then he had a 3. So I don't know what the rotation exactly is going to be like for the bigs over on the Clippers. So until we find out, tread lightly with them. But Zubots, if he gets another 35 and he's only 4'2", sign me up, please. Next up, Derek Rose. He's coming off the bench this year. He's still only 4'9". I can't believe that. That's highway robbery, guys. Um, looks like he's 8K on FanDuel. Jesus. Um, 32, 31 fantasy points. So he's consistently getting you 30 or more fantasy points a game going up against Philly. He's only played him once and he got a 24. So, um, we'll see what happens, especially if it beats out, man, that just free, that just makes it a whole different game. So we got to keep up on that news. 
Next up, Zach Levine, man. I need to start paying real big attention to this guy. He's had two games now where he's just been consistent. He got a 38, and then today he got, what, 50 fantasy points? Going up against Toronto? Hell yeah, sign me up. At 7-7, he might be one of my top uh, point guards slash shooting guards tomorrow. We'll see. We will see. Next up, Thomas Bryant, man. He went off today. God bless this guy. Um, for 7-1, you can put him in a power forward or center. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, what did he get? 45 fantasy points, something like that today. He had himself a game against San Antonio. They don't scare me. They ain't, they ain't got no one. Who's going to stop them? It says right here they're number one so far against uh, power forwards and centers, but there's only been, they've only played once, so you can't really go off of that. Um, so yeah, Thomas Bryant's worth a look, guys. Next up. Jason Tatum, man, he proved me wrong again. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I will admit it. He showed out again today, and he's he's only 6'5 tomorrow, going up against New York. Um, No Kyrie Irving, who's another one who really didn't uh live up to expectations today. But that's besides the point. So with all these Boston players now, with no Kyrie Irving around, they're all getting a little bit more action. Tatum's getting it. Um, I mean, at 6'5", I would, I'd put him in a, like a small forward spot. Next up, Russell Westbrook. What's there not to say about him? You have to roster him a Harden. That's just how it is. Russell Westbrook, a lot of people were saying at the beginning of the season that he's on the decline. Does this look like on the decline to you? <laughs> a 62 and 78 in his last two games. Now, versus New Orleans, look at this. 87, 74 in his last two against New Orleans. He, you got to get him in at 9-1. He should be a 10K player. If Harden's 10K, West, Westbrook should be 10K. Get him in there, guys. Next up, Josh Hart. This guy continues again. Another player on a different team who's showing what he's got. And he comes off the bench, too. He damn near got a double-double today. Started out slow, but that second half, he came through. So... With that price tag of 3-6, that's just, that's an insult. But we'll take that insult, and we're going to roster him. So get him in there. Next up, my other luck. Man, I love this kid. Trey Young. Ice Trey Young. 49, 62 fantasy points in his last two. I was one of the people that was that managed to cash all season this year without playing him. So just imagine if I played this guy. Going up against Orlando, 45, 36, 29, 32. All he does is shoot the ball, guys. Um, get him in there at 8-8. Eight, eight. He doesn't turn over the ball as much as he did last year. So he's playing, man. I love this kid. Next up, Devin Booker T. 43 fantasy points in 32 minutes last game. The only thing that bothers me is going up against the Clippers. Clippers are very tough defensively. All right, Patrick Beverly is going to be in everybody's face, acting a fool. He's going to get in their heads. And, you know, Booker, he's kind of a little hot-headed a little bit, so I don't know. But at 8-7, if he was a little cheaper, he'd be a lock for me. But at that price, I wouldn't say he's a lock. i say he's worth a look. Next up, we got Pascal Siakam Malikam, man. This guy, whoo, just, just get him in. Just get him in and move on. It, it, I mean, we've seen it now two games. No Kawhi Leonard. It's his team now. So he's getting that run, and at 8-5, Man, get him in there. You got to find ways to get him in. 49 and 67 fantasy points in his last two. He's a man. Next up, Laurie Marketing, 8 1. I don't know if I like the price. I know he had that 63 point game, guys. I didn't really see what he did tonight, to be honest with you, but I don't think it was 63. I think Zach Levine sold the show. But he is definitely worth a look at 8 1. And last but not least, the GOAT, James Harden. Coming off a rough game for James Harden. Now, a 51-point game for James Harden's a, a slow night, let me tell you, because Westbrook ate that night. So I think it's James Harden's turn, but you just can't fade him. You can't. He's going to be chalk, good chalk. And when he does go off and you don't have him, there goes your lineup. Bye-bye, it's dead. All right? So James Harden, get him in there, guys. And that's it for Skywalker's Picks.
I am a, I'm having issues with my camera. This is a brand new fucking laptop, right? And for some reason, the camera doesn't work. It says it's turned off. So I went in there and I turned it back on. I don't know jack shit about computers or software or none of that, but I don't know, guys. It, it doesn't want to work. So I'm going to try and get that fixed until I do, guys. All you can hear is the lovely sound of my voice and just know that Schroeder is right here and it, it he is just like pacing right now because he thinks the camera's on. I feel so bad. He wants to do Schroeder's picks, but, uh, you know what? Let's do it. Maybe you guys can hear him. Maybe he might, he might meow once for you guys. So Schroeder, take a look at the player pool here. Schroeder's my cat, guys. If you guys are new to the video, watch my prior videos. Schroeder's my cat. He's going to do all the double, double calls. And he's going to pick one player that get, will get us a triple-double. All right, he did home run calls. He did um, – what else do you do, Bo? You do goal calls for NHL. You name it. So Schroeder's the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. So Schroeder, who is your first pick? Who's going to get a double-double? Take a look. Take a look. What do you see? All right, go ahead. Tell us. Really? I like that. So Schroeder says his first double double pick is going to be Thomas Bryant. Awesome, dude. I like that pick. It's a little safe, but all right, man. I get that. So Schroeder, who's your second double double pick? Take a look. Feast your eyes. All right. Who you got? Really? No, that's bold. Schroeder's, Schroeder's going out on a limb. You're putting your reputation on the line, dude. So Schroeder says Zubox is going to get a double-double. My God, dude. All right. So Schroeder, take a look. Who's going to get a triple-double? Who's going to break the slate? Who's it going to be? Who's getting that triple-double? Take a look. You got to look at everybody now. Who's going to get it? All right. Who's it going to be? That's what I'm thinking, Schroeder. That's what I'm thinking. So Schroeder says Russell Westbrook is getting a triple-double tomorrow. Well, that's going to do it for hashtag Schroeder's picks. I wish you guys can see him right now. Why doesn't he do this when the camera's on? He's all rubbing up against the computer. So he's looking directly in the camera now. Damn it, Schroeder. Why don't you do this when the camera's on? So that's going to do it for hashtag Schroeder's picks, guys. Take those to the bank. All right? So let's get you guys a free lineup. Sponsored by the DFS Club. So here we go. Drum roll, please. All right, so it gives us Russell Westbrook, Chris Dunn. That's not too bad. Josh Hart, Tatum, Zubots, Fat Redman Vleet, Laurie Marketing, Donovan Mitchell. I will say this for my Draft Dashboard members, guys. Speak of the devil. Draft Dashboard is what you've been looking at. This is what I use for all my videos. It's what I use for all my research, guys. You too can have draft dash, draft dash board. There you go. One dollar for 30 days. That's it. 10 dimes, 20 nickels, 100 pennies. You too can have draft dash board, guys. Um, all you got to do is click in the link in the description below and you yourself can try it out. There are no obligation, no contracts, no bullshit. You can cancel it at any time. All right. It's that simple, guys. Take the draft dash board challenge. You're going to hang with me because you also get access to all my save lineups, all my player pools for every single sport. Uh, the sweepers and studs of the slate, the NBA cheat sheet, because if you can't win, cheat. It's got the best locks of the slate, best studs, best mid-tier, and best value. So Draft Dashboard has it all, guys. Check it out. $1 for 30 days. That's a steal. And don't forget, guys, join the family. It's the weekend. We play everything. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to play NASCAR. We're going to play college. We're going to play NFL. We're going to play NBA. We're going to do MMA in a couple hours. Come join the family, guys. www.dfsclub.com. It is the DFS Players Disneyland right here. All right? So every sport we got you covered, guys. So Schroeder and I are going to get up out of here. Let's take them out, dude. Like we always say, let's get that bread and don't take shit from nobody. I'm going to get this camera fixed soon, guys, because. I feel bad. Schroeder's, Schroeder's bummed. All right, guys. So have a good night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.